Hey, what's up guys? So today I just want to talk about the differences and or pros and cons between the Kestrel Elite Ballistics with a ply ballistic solver versus the newer ballistics model with the Hornady Ford off solver. As far as the solver goes, I'm getting the exact same solutions per any distance I have out here from 200 meters to 1600 meters, the Kestrels are giving me the same elevations. With the applied ballistics, I'm not using BC, I am using a custom drag model. I, I use custom drag models because they're available. All the bullets I shoot are pretty common. I typically shoot Hornady stuff and some Sierra, every now and then a burger, but for the most part, Every bullet I shoot is available in a custom Mac from Applied Ballistics. And uh, so therefore, I'll link my Kestrel to the app and jump them in here. Instead of using BCs, because, you know, like we all know, BCs can be changed uh, by the gun, uh, by its barrel, etc., etc. Uh, of course, if you look at Applied Ballistics Library versus what Hornady says their uh, BCs are, you see some discrepancies. So the custom drive models are, are definitely your your better choice there now with ford off uh clearly ford off is best used for hornady ammo which i already do that so that works out really well anyway uh and all i really had to do was go in here load up the profile and jump it from the kestrel app on my phone and into the kestrel no big deal there so the best i can tell there's not two cents difference between the solvers the, um, I went in and manually changed the air density around, saw no differences, changed temperatures, saw no differences. Like I said, from 100 to 1600 meters, they're giving me within a one hundredth of a mil difference from each other. Like right now, 400 meters, 2.08. Let's run it up. And so 800 and 29 meters. Apply ballistics, 734, and Ford off, 733. Like I said, none of us can outshoot that. None of the ammo we're shooting uh, is, we're not measuring accuracy in hundreds of a mil. So, as long as they're in, you know, point ones of each other, I'm going to be pretty happy. And like I said, that's all I've seen between the two solvers. So, that leaves function and practicality. The Elite ballistics model allows for 30 guns to be stored at a time and the Ford off only three. And that's not a huge deal because it, it is really easy to link them via, via Bluetooth to your phone and just jump profiles in and out. Um, now for me, I like having the 30 and just for instance, this six five Creedmoor gun, I shoot three different bullets through it. 140s, 143s and 147s and I do that just for ammo availability there's very little performance difference between the three rounds and so I like having that if I was doing that with the Ford off I would have to uh, jump them in and out or the memory would be full in the Kestrel if I wanted to shoot my 300 PRC or 6.5 PRC or any other gun I would have to um, exchange those via linking to the Kestrel Link app in my phone. Whereas in the Applied Ballistics, I can just scroll through, everything's right here in my hand. And like I said, it, you know, that is not a huge deal. It, it literally takes uh, just a couple moments, a couple minutes to, uh, to do that jump. But like I said, I like having all my guns right here in my hand um, in the Applied Ballistics. So I think that'd be one thing they could do to improve the, the Ford off is just open the memory up and uh, increase it to the same thing as the Elite Ballistics model so where we could have you know, more than three guns saved right here in the Kestrel. The, uh, the other difference is target card. The, um, there is no target card in the Ford Off. And so target card to me is not a big deal. It's when you can go ahead and pre-plan extra targets in here. That's, that's helpful for, say, like your, your military or police snipers when they're in Overwatch and maybe they have, you know, three or four different target buildings 
at three or four different ranges, they can go ahead and assign target one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, whatever. Um, and again, so the Ford Off doesn't have it. For the practical shooter and the hunter, uh, that's again, not a big deal. I've only ever used target card in, in the sniper role. So for me, the biggest practical difference between these two Kestrels is the Applied Ballistic has the range card and Ford Off does not. I use range card all the time. It is the quickest way for me to jump from one distance to the other. When I'm hunting and my Kestrel's just running, I'll keep it on range card. If I lay something, I can quickly scroll through the range card uh, much more quickly than if I go to the main target screen and traverse from one range to the next. All right, so what I'm talking about here is on the main targeting screen, we have our target and our range, and we can scroll left and right to get whatever range. So if I'm walking along and I spot an animal and I laze it at 721 meters, all right, so I have to go here, and Kestrel has really fast and then really slow, so you kind of have to let off, keep going, let off, keep going, getting pretty close, and 721, and I have a solution. All right, so on the Applied Ballistics, what I do is I run it right here on Range Card, and when I'm walking around hunting, I run it on the 50 meter increments. So it's much faster for me to just tap up a couple. Look, there's 700, hit increments, change it to 20, 720, 574, I'm done. The thing that differentiates or will have me continue to prefer the Apply Ballistics, the Elite Ballistics model with Apply Ballistics Solver over the Ballistics model with Ford Off it really has very little to do with the ballistic solver and the fact that it just has the range card and it's much faster, more practically applied for uh, the, the hunting role or even the sniper role where I'm just walking around, I'm gonna see a target, lays a target, quickly get my solution and shoot. Um, so yeah, between these, these two pieces of equipment, the, the biggest things are Kestrel Ford Off, only hold three guns and the uh, applied ballistics holds 30. But like I said, the biggest difference for me is not having the range card on this makes the Ford off less attractive. Like I said, best I can tell the solvers are so close to each other. Um, and again, I haven't put a lot of time into the, uh, to the Ford off. I know the applied ballistics, I've been using it for as long as it's been out there. And, you know, I just, whenever something new comes along, uh, if it's better, I will quickly jump on it. I don't hold on to old technologies or old pieces of equipment just for the, the sake of, uh, you know, using antiques. If something comes along that is truly better, that outperforms it, I'm definitely going to go with the new. But in this case, I'm just not seeing it. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that are recommending this and, in theory, you know, if it, you're using the Hornady's custom maps that they've produced, especially for their bullets, you know, the Ford Off certainly works. Um, but a lot of times the guys are, who say that are comparing the Hornady custom drag models to using BC in the applied ballistics. And, and that's, not a, that's not a very sensical comparison. You want to compare the custom drag models from applied ballistics to the custom drag models in the uh, Ford Off. If we're comparing BCs, we want to switch to BCs and use a G1, G7 and compare it directly to the G1 and G7s in the Applied Ballistics calculator. And having done both, like I said, the solvers, they are so close to each other. For me, it really just comes down to the fact that the Applied Ballistics model has, the, the Elite model has the range guard. Now cost, the, uh, the Elite version is $700 versus the Hornady that's right around $500. I think it was like $530 or so. So there's a little bit of cost difference. But like I said, for me, the range card and the fact that I can keep 30 guns in this one, it's worth that additional dough.
that's my take. That's my overall on both of these guys. I don't think you can go wrong either way. Um, but like I said, I'm favoring and still favoring the applied ballistics over the Ford off just for basic function and practicality. Hope this helps.